welcome to the channel everybody today's video i wanted to make this video it's more for like the beginners to the sport of slingshots or if you're new to uh making and tying your own pouches making your own bands things like that i'm not sure if anybody else has made a video um, explaining what i'm going to explain today it's going to be some math i know most of us hate math i hate math too but it's going to help you out in the end when you're testing and tuning new new bands or new latex and if you're like me, I've shot Omega Electric White for quite a while now. It's what I prefer. I really like the stretch, the snap, the speeds I get out of it, everything, the, the draw, the feel of it. And I've shot it for a long time now, but I've been wanting to test out some other latexes. Recently, I picked up some new latexes. These are all 0.45. And we're gonna test all the all 0.45s. I got some Jinpu 0.45, some Samiki, some uh, Cyan 0.45. And all I had in Simple Shot was 0.4 or 0.5, so we're just gonna do the 0.4 today. So I'm gonna cut bands out of all these and try to utilize the same elongation factor um, percentage that I would normally use for Omega Electric White. We're gonna try to see if we can get comparable speeds out of all these latexes by doing some numbers. First step, we're gonna get outside and put some rounds through the chronograph and see what speeds we get. We're we'll shooting on 0.45 Omega Electric White. Off the headhunter frame that I got here. All right, we're gonna take five shots through the chronograph, see what speeds we get. 222, 229, 232, 233, 231. Okay, so those five shots gave the Omega Electric White an average FPS of around 229.4, we'll just round it up to 230. We're gonna shoot for an FPS of 230 out of all these other latexes. Now what I've done here is I've cut some test strips for each of the, uh, the latexes. And this is just, if you don't know, if you can't find or you just don't know the elongation factor, um, a simple way is to take and put like a couple marks on it somewhere. We'll just go like one centimeter wide. There, do that on all of them. And then I'm just going to take, give these a good stretch, a hard stretch, and then measure between. These are going to get fatter, so I usually go off the middle of the marks once they just stretch that out as far as it'll go. And the cyan, it's about, we're going to call it an 800% elongation. So the cyan's 800%. Here's the electric white. Give it a good pull. That's about a 700%. And here's the Samiki pink. It's about a 700%. The Jinpu is about, let's say a 650. Oh, we forgot the simple shot. Hang on a minute. All right, I cut the simple shot, but I wanna write these down before I forget them. So this one was 650, seven, seven, and this was an eight. And now we're gonna do the same thing with the simple shot. Put some marks on it. Let's see what stretch we get. It's about a 700 too. Seven on that, and then I'll be able to remember. All right, we'll get all our elongations, 800, 700, 700, 650, and 700. All right. So how do we figure how much stretch is being utilized? You can calculate the ratio by simply dividing your draw length by your active band length. I know my draw length is 1,397 mil and our active band length is 235. So 1,397 divided by 235, we get 5.94. That means our active length stretched nearly six times to get to our full draw length. So now we're going to take our elongation ratio and divide it by the elongation factor of the latex times 100. So our 5.94 divided by the 700% stretch of omega white or 7 times 100. We get 84%. We're using 84% of the latex's stretch. Now we want to calculate our band lengths for our latexes that have different stretch factors to utilize the same 
So the Gen Poo has a elongation factor of 6.5. So we just take our 84%, make it a decimal 0.84 times 6.5, and we get 5.46 stretch ratio. That's the stretch 5.46 times to get our 1,397 millimeter draw length. Take your draw length divided by the elongation ratio. So our 1,397 divided by our 5.46, and then we get 256 millimeters for our active band length. We're just going to repeat that process for the cyan that has a elongation factor of 8. So 8 times 0.84, which is our 84%, gives us 6.72 elongation ratio. Band length is just going to be the draw length divided by that ratio. So 1397 divided by 672 gives us 208 mil active band length. And we're going to add 25 mil because these are going to be shot on wrap and tuck frames. All right, now that we've got all that mathing done, I've added 25 mil because these are all going to be shot on wrap and tuck. So what you lose in your fold over and your pouch is about 25 mil, give or take. So these are going to be cut the cyan at 233. And the math's right there because I usually cut uh, my electric white at 260. And the math says 263. The uh, Samiki pink will be 263. The Gen Poo, we're going to cut it at 281. And then the Simple Shot black will be at 263. So we'll get all those cut. We'll get them tied on a frame and we'll do some shooting. Okay, so the pink, I've got the pink ones cut and they're supposed to be at 263, as you can see. They're right at 263. Time to get them framed up. These will all be tied on a headhunter frame. Luckily, we have multiples here. All tied with the same jig, got the same stretch, same uh, amber belt, same pouch. So I tried to keep as much the same as possible. So first up, we're going to test the cyan. It's supposed to be uh, 233 overall, and then with the wrap and tuck, about 209 on our band, active band length. So we're right in there. It's right around 210, 209, 210. The Gen Poo was 281 overall with the work active band length of about, what, 256, 255, 256. So, yeah. 255 yeah we're right in there simple shot was supposed to be 263 overall and then so with wrap and tuck our active band length would have been 238 somewhere around there looks like we're right there 240s right there yeah last but not least the samiki the pink samiki was supposed to be 263 so it'd have been around 238 just like the uh, simple shot black and we're right there Well, there they are. Time to put them through the chronograph. First up is the pink Samiki. I'm gonna take five shots, see what speeds we get. This one's really stretchy. 224. I'll try to write them down as we go. 227. Error. 232. Two more shots. 230 last shot 231 we're just going to shoot all these and then i'll figure the averages at the end all right we're going to move on to the precise cyan this one's the shortest set but it's also the stretchiest so makes sense all right first shot with it 237 239 236 37, 234. All right, now we're gonna to go to the simple shot. This one is a half mil thinner. It's the 0.4, it's either the 0.4 or 0.5. There's no in between, so I, uh, I just went with the 0.4. But we'll let's see if we can get our target, F, uh, our target speed we're looking for out of them. 223, 228. 31 228 227 all right now we're going with the gin poo this stuff feels funny but it, i don't know let's get our five shots with it 
The last shot, 227. There it is, five shots with all four of our other latexes to compare against the uh, Omega White, shooting for 230 uh, FPS. Let's go tally the numbers. So, after crunching the numbers, the uh, Simple Shot Black, it came in at 227.4 feet per second, which is less than three feet per second. You know, under it's under what we was aiming for, but pretty dang close. Uh, the Cyan, it, it was actually the fastest. It averaged 236.6 feet per second. The gym poo actually surprised me. It came in right at 231 feet per second with those five shots we took through the chronograph. And then the pink Samiki came in at uh, 228.8, almost 229 feet per second. So yeah, right in there. So what did I learn today? I learned the math actually works. Just because a latex is the same thickness as uh, like what, you're, what you prefer or what you've been shooting, they're not all gonna have the same properties. They're gonna have different elongation different draw weights just it just depends on the latex so hopefully this math uh the math that i use will help you guys uh test and tune your bands maybe you guys can use it too if you aren't already using it don't just buy latex and cut it like you normally do and you're not always going to get the same results but don't throw it away because you can do a little ciphering and you can get that any latex to shoot um pretty close to what you want hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully shared something that uh, you could take away from this video that, and use. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Get out and shoot if you can. I'll see you guys on the next one.